All right, greetings. My name is Alan Volda and Josh Burke, Kaiser Oakland, Kaiser Richmond. And what we're gonna, what I'm gonna demonstrate for you today is how to properly draw blood culture, draw blood cultures. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two sets of blood cultures. Um, I'm gonna use a fake arm over here. I'm, not, I'm actually not gonna puncture this guy over here, but I just want to go more over the process and how to properly reduce our blood culture contamination rates because, as you guys know. Blood cultures, it can lead, if you have contaminated samples, that can lead to additional problems, unnecessary hospital stays, um, uh, resistant antibiotics, um, all because you, you use improper technique. So please, it is paramount that you use proper technique when drawing blood cultures. All right, so in particular, for one, make sure you use gloves, all right? One thing that, I, that, might, that some people do is when they, when they use gloves, first thing that they do is, all right, go ahead and start scrubbing. Right, we start scrubbing the site using our chloroprep, and let me show you some improper technique because I, I, you, you want to make sure you avoid some of these things. All right, so how long are we supposed to scrub for? We're supposed to scrub for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds. Improper technique number one. Some people miscalculate 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a pretty long time, and I'm actually going to do this for a full 30 seconds. All right. Start making some small talk with the patient, sing a song. I don't know. We got 30 seconds right here. It's a pretty long time. Just remember that. But please make sure you you, you go the entire 30 seconds. All right. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not actually going to puncture this guy. This guy is not equipped to to actually puncture. But proper technique is paramount. All right. It is 30 seconds. Woo. Here's improper technique number two. Do not do this. Oftentimes, once you go ahead and scrub it for 30 seconds, you're supposed to let it dry for 30 seconds. You don't want to do this. You don't want to blow. You don't want to fan. You don't want to do any of that because then you're introducing bacteria right on the area that you just scrubbed. So also let it dry for 30 seconds, which I'm also letting the I'm also going to do right now. 30 seconds, long time. So altogether, just the prep part of it is one minute long. All right, it is almost 30 seconds. 30 seconds is up right now. Now. Impro here's another improper technique. You just go ahead, you, you just went ahead, you scrub, you let it dry. A lot of times when trying to find a vein on a tough stick, you don't want to do this. Take off, the, take off the finger of your gloved hand and start feeling for it, all right? Because now, once again, you just introduce bacteria right on the area that you just scrubbed. So please refrain, even if it's a tough stick, please refrain from touching with your bare finger, all right? All right, so. 30 seconds, scrub, 30 seconds, dry, do not use your glove finger. Because most of the time when these blood cultures come back, they come back positive for staph ominous, staph epidermidis, something that's just skin cells that you introduce by, by using improper technique. All right, another thing that you want to do, two sets of cultures. Two sets of cultures means two sets of cultures from two different sites, all right? Um, one improper technique is some nurses well, I won't mention any names or anything, but you want to make sure you get it from two sites. Some people might get one, one sample from one site and then split it into two different, two different samples. All right. So you have your anaerobic and your aerobic, um, but you want to get it from two different sites. So if you get one of them from your right arm, get the other one from the left arm. All right. You can also do it 10 minutes later on the same arm, but just make sure it is two different collections as opposed to one collection and splitting it up into two sets, all right? A um, <clears throat> couple other things you want, we want to do. Let me show you a few, a few of the features of this here. This is our blood transfer device, along with our butterfly needle, okay? So a few features of this, because you can actually draw blood, you can draw blood for the, um, for your tubes and for your bottles using just one device. You don't have to switch it out with another device, right? So just keep aware you have, you have some sharps over here. So dispose of this piece right here into the sharps bin. And we have two different, two different blood transfer devices. And it's just the only, the difference between these are the tops. There's a male and there's a female. So you wanna make sure you get the right one that will connect to your, uh, your butterfly over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is connect the, the male end to this female end right over here. All right, so just make sure you get the correct one. Goes in, just lure lock connection. If you got the wrong one, all right, you're wondering, hey, what, how come this doesn't work here? So just make sure you get the correct one. Secondly, I want you to take a look at the bottles, that, how this works, and I'm just gonna pop this off for demonstration purposes right here. All right, 
this goes under, you can use this for both the bottles and the tubes. So you want to collect your blood directly from, from your blood tubes. And once you're done collecting it from the tubes, go directly to the, to the, uh, to the bottles. In fact, I have it backwards. What you want to do first is get your bottles first. All right. So that's what this is. That's what this is for. Get your bottles first. Now there's two bottles. There's anaerobic and there's aerobic. You want to get your anaerobic first and then get your aerobic. All right. Anaerobic is red. Aerobic is blue. All right. So get your anaerobic first, get your aerobic. And then when transferring it over, just go ahead and connect this adapter right on side there. It's already connected. It's already built in there. And this goes right inside there, just like that. All right. All right. So <clears throat> back to drawing some cultures. Okay. Another thing you want to do when drawing cultures is when you pop the top off over here, what's best practice is to go ahead and take an alcohol swab and just place it right on top. All right. Just to in ensure that it is sterile there that you don't accidentally touch the top of this, all right? Because that can happen. So just to make sure, you would always have an alcohol swab right on top. Now, one other mistake that, that can happen is this. Some people, some people might do this, where after they scrub, remember you're scrubbing for 30 seconds, all right? You just scrub for 30 seconds. Some people do this. Take the same one that they scrubbed and just start scrubbing the top. All right, what did you just do there? You just took the skin cells and you just scrubbed off this arm and just put it right on top of the bottle right there. So please make sure you do not do that. Do not use the same um, uh, chloroprep scrub that you scrub the arm to scrub the top of, the, of your culture bottles. All right, there you go. All right, so I'm not gonna stick this guy. Once again, 30 seconds scrub, 30 seconds dry, no fanning. Don't use your glove finger. Make sure you, make sure you put some alcohol swabs on there. And don't use the same chloroprep scrub that you use to scrub the arm to scrub the bodies. All right, goes right in. I'm not going to do this right now because I'm not going to draw any blood over here because this arm is not built for that. But once you get flashback, all right, this is what I was talking about earlier. Take the top off over here, okay, and get our anaerobic first. Great, done, and then get our aerobic. Done. Okay. Now, how much how much blood do you want? Well, the more the better. All right. Yeah, you really only need a couple drops, but really you want to get as much of the sample inside there as you can. Preferably 10 mLs. If not, that's that's fine. But really, once you're already in here, you got good blood flow. Get as much blood as you can inside here, so you get a better sample to um to, to test. All right. And here's that piece that I was telling you earlier. Plug it right back in. And if you need to get troponin, CBC, Chem7, you can do that as well using the same transfer device. All right. Once this is done, retract it, one set of cultures, done. Repeat, other arm or same arm, 10 minutes later, with another set of cultures. All right? Other than that, we're all good. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Josh Burke, Alan Bulla, or your educator. Thank you very much. Cool.